Hey guys, well this is um, my proof of concept so to speak for my camper hot water system. What I have done is I have purchased a tankless gas hot water system which came out of the US, delivered in two days. I think all up was about $130 Australian including postage. Comes with uh, three years warranty in this particular unit. That's hooked up to our gas bottle, obviously in full application the hose is going to be considerably longer this is like I said just a proof of concept with a quick standard hose connection down the bottom for the inlet which then flows up to the outlet of the water pump which in my case is on the trailer what I have done is my particular setup I have got a water inlet on the side of the trailer which through a valve arrangement allows me to draw either water from the tank or from a source uh, also acts as the filler for pressure water uh, tan water what I have at the moment set up is the bucket is about five liters um, at about 14 degrees centigrade the unit operates by a means of water flow once the water flow is turned on the unit self ignites and is ready to fire. I will just turn a unit on as it was off previously. As I turn a the water on you will hear the unit fire and as soon as the little red light goes out we've got ignition and water flow. Water is adjusted through here in terms of actual flow so minimum flow and you can hear the pump change up to maximum flow, out of a maximum flow with my pump and the current setup we would be doing somewhere between um, 6 to 8 litres a minute last time I measured it, uh, perhaps a little bit less but still more than adequate for a shower the water temperature outgoing is regulated through here with maximum uh, gas setting and minimum water flow you will get the highest temperature and then a mixture of the two sort of gives you the temperature you want if I have the unit set up at maximum water flow and gas in the middle this is uh, part of the camera work this is essentially the flow rate of the water as you can see more than adequate for a shower and the water I would say is probably at around well I can't hold my hand under there I would say it's getting close to 45 degrees the unit I mean essentially will be operating basically on the maximum water flow and minimum gas flow is probably I would hazard a guess around 28 30 degrees um, my idea is essentially in my shower tent I have a pool set up which is the exact dimensions of the bottom of the shower um, the pump will draw water from there and recirculate it constantly so you can have a number of people use a shower at a time um, there is a strainer set up in my pump which is a separate attachment which I haven't got in line at the moment um, this will then allow me to essentially use the unit to warm the water up and once the temperature if you don't want it to heat up you simply turn off the on switch as such and the gas solenoid is shut and essentially the water just circulates so this way I'll warm up the water up to at about 35 38 degrees to have a shower and the pump will do the rest of the work very minim minimal gas at the pre current pressures we're running the pump operates at about 5.3 amps as you can see there um, normally I suspect our showers with the four of us combined would probably mean that the pump runs for approximately 20 minutes thus about two amp hours uh, seeing as I've got in excess of 210 amp hours on board plus what's in the truck I think we should be okay for a decent quality shower the unit itself is very compact very small only weighs somewhere around three to four kilos um, it's relatively robust uh, with enamel steel plates um, this particular attachment can come off can be fixed permanently or not um, I'm essentially going to be mounting the unit to a bracket arrangement that lets, it, lets me hang it on the side of the trailer uh, well away from the tent obviously 
Um, when running, the unit actually puts out very little heat to the back of the unit, but uh, quite a substantial amount of heat through the vent around. This unit's rated at around 11 kilowatts, um, which is about 38,000 BTUs. So it is quite a hefty little unit. Um, it's a five litre unit, so it is perfectly matched to the duty we're about we're using for our shower. Once again, very simple, neat, easy to install. Um, because everything's on quick fittings, or will be in the end, um, it will take a matter of minutes to set up. I'm also looking at utilising this unit to provide hot water into the kitchen, uh, but I, that's probably a little bit of an overkill, as we rarely require hot water into the actual kitchen itself. So yeah, anyway, that's my setup. Uh, proof of concept, more or less. Pretty happy with it.